Welcome everybody. Um, welcome to the Caveo for Workplace demo. I'm currently logged in as Adele and Adele works on the marketing department and wants to relocate soon. So uh, that's a, essentially the persona for this demo. When she starts her day, she essentially goes to the Workplace Hub. Um, this hub powered by Caveo. Um, we have indexed several repositories, uh, uh, important for her to do her work. And the entry point for her role is here. All the information needed uh, is contextualized and personalized for her user profile. Based on her information and her team information, we can start showing relevant content to her persona. Um, you can see that um, uh, a few examples, she can quickly catch up with the team timeline. So what did her team do lately? She can quickly see uh, and, and catch up with everybody. Uh, you see relevant documents, uh, for example, site and sources, which are frequently used by her and our team are boosted. Um, selected for you, for example, um, we are using her team and her skills or her interests to boost relevant documentations. You can see that we also show news items uh, uh, based on uh, global news or HR news and new people who started today. We also do a little bit of gamification um, uh, because we want to uh, make sure that people are, are, uh, are being boosted to start uh, contrib contribute more. Um, and uh, later on, you will see uh, badges and the badges are based on the total contributors on her team of the last month. Um, her activity, um, uh, you see that uh, she also uh, um, uh, has email received and without going to Office 365, she can read the email and make sure that her next uh, action is uh, to find out what is a customer focused approach in the marketing plan, if that is inside of that marketing plan. So she simply uh, uh, um, enters the information here. Uh, let me quickly see, customer focused approach. Uh, sorry, I was mistaken here. Of course, the search as you type is powered by our machine learning. Uh, so is all the widgets. And as you can see, a normal search interface, but this is provided later on out of the box, but still the context is taken into consideration. So if I disable the context, you will see that the search results will change because we are promoting uh, frequently used sites uh, by her and her team. When I go into the preview, you see that um, uh, with that, uh, we also are not showing, sorry, we are not showing the, the quick view only. We also show related documents and related people. Related documents based on the title of the of the previous document. So we try to be proactive in everything we do. You see that we also have related people here. Um, for example, uh, uh, Lee is the director of the department, and it's probably good for Adele to to uh, call call him to make sure that he understands that uh, the consumer focused approach is indeed present in this document. So she clicks on Lee and you can see that uh, now a 360 overview of Lee is presented. So not only a search result, but everything related to Lee. You see the sources he has been working on. You see the content type he has been working on. Related people he is acting with. Related documents authored by him. Also emails from Adele to Lee. Um, and also related team documents. Besides, we also see the organization structure. So you again have a complete overview of everything what is happening with Lee. Here are the badges I was mentioning before. So the, uh, the badges uh, uh, show who contributed uh, the most in the last month. Um, Adele is ready because uh, she had all the information to do her job. So now she can look at her relocation uh, 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 adventure. So essentially, um, uh, she uh, 
needs to relocate and she is wondering what kind of um, uh, uh, expenses she can uh, do about it. You can see that we have a featured result here. Um, uh, right now, it might be interesting for her. Uh, she could have a look, but there is nothing here about the expense report. Um, she looks at people. Well, Diego is the HR manager, so it's good for uh, to call him at least, but she wants to help herself first. So she goes to the help me section. Um, she enters leave. Um, sorry, second. She enters uh, a relocation, of course. Uh, she selects human resources and uh, she is interested in the expense report. And now we're getting somewhere because now she sees that um, um, she will find the actual amount um, not in this document, but probably in the other document. Yes, there it is. A maximum of $6,000 can be used for her expense report. And that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.